Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I have a bunch of products in my collection that every time I think about them, I think, do I wanna keep this product? Should I just kinda get rid of it, pass it on to somebody else because I'm really not using it if I actually think about it. I have a big enough collection that I wanna have things in my collection that I love. I wanna look at things in my collection and think, there's no doubt in my mind that I am keeping this and I love this. Even if I don't use it constantly because I have a lot in my collection, I don't wanna think, well, that's not gonna be my first choice because I just don't love it. And so I have some of those things here. And I thought instead of just putting them away, maybe giving them one more shot because I think that's the thing. With, with some of these things, I don't dislike them. So it might be a different reason why I'm trying to get rid of it, or it might just be because I wanna see if I can make it work. Um, I'll go through the reasons. We're gonna just put them all on today. But basically, I'm just kind of unsure about whether or not I want these in my collection. And I felt like we could wear them and see how it goes, give them another shot. And I will update you in, I'll, I'll pin a comment down below. And after I've kind of worn these things for the day and I make up my mind, because with some of these, of course I could decide right when I put it on, but something like a foundation, a concealer, I might need a little bit of time throughout the day to really make up my mind on them, you know? Um, but I just thought maybe giving them one more try to see how I feel, to see if I can make it work, to see if I'm really ready to declutter, then I'll feel like I gave it a fair shot, you know? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna start with my eyes and we'll we'll go through all these products. Um, some of them I'm pretty sure on and I just wanna just give it one last try. And some of them, I don't know, I might not be ready to, but we're just gonna see. So for eyeshadow today, it's the Saharan palette and this one's a tough one because I feel like with a lot of my eyeshadow palettes that I have decluttered, it's a little easier for me. And I feel like, you know what? I'm not using it. It's not my favorite. I have plenty of eyeshadow palettes and I want to have ones in my collection that I love and that I'm excited to use. And this is just not really one of them. And I love Juvia's Place. The quality is, there's no question about that. I, this is not a bad quality palette. It's just really the color selection and and the fact that this palette just kind of confuses me a little bit. You know, I just don't, I don't feel inspired when I look at this. I don't feel excited to wear it. Um, and I think part of that is I'm not like hugely into warm tones as much anymore, but there still are some palettes that are warmer that I enjoy and I would be excited to use it. And this just, I, I don't know, it just doesn't really excite me and I, I'm not pulling for it. It's not one that I really get excited about. And again, I have so many palettes in my collection and I just feel like I should love all of them if I'm gonna have them in my collection. And, but at the same time, it is beautiful. And again, the quality is great. So it's just hard for me to get rid of it. And so I wanna try it again today. And I, this is one, this is probably the one of all these things that I have here that I'm really, really torn on because I just don't know if I can quite get rid of it yet. I think if I don't get rid of it, there's still a chance that I will in the future, but I just might not be ready. So we're gonna wear it today and see what I think. I mean, I know it looks great. I know that, I mean, I don't hate the looks when I use it, but I'm never like in love either. So I don't know. So I'm gonna just prime my eyes and then we'll get started. I kind of feel like I wanna try and use this greenish blue there. Not that that really goes with what I'm wearing. I guess it could, but I feel like that's a shade that does excite me when it comes to this palette. And I just don't know totally how to use it in conjunction with the other colors in this palette because I don't know, but we're gonna try it. I just, I don't know. I enjoy my other Juvia's Place palettes more, so. But if you like this video, um, let me know if you'd wanna see it again because there are definitely other products not necessarily in all categories, and you'll see I don't have something in every category, but you know there were other things that I was thinking of that could have gone in this in this category, um, but they you know they kind of had to all go together. I mean, if I'm going to do a super like kind of warm look here, I mean obviously I'm going to try and use that that shade right there, but um, you know I couldn't do like a a super cool tone lip or you know something like that. So. 
I could definitely do another one of these. So if you like it, just, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, because I do think that it's nice to, you know, really thoroughly think through what you think of a product. I mean, in any case, but, um, you know, especially if you're thinking about getting rid of something, um, you know, it's good to give it a fair shot and really decide if you're ready to get rid of it because the last thing you want is to give something away and then, you know, regret it. The question is if I wanna go into the really bright shade or this one. I think I wanna go into this one because I feel like that will be a little bit more of a contrast and that's like kind of an exciting shade in this palette. I don't know how well it will go with that green, but we're just gonna go for it. If it turns out horrible, it turns out horrible. You know, what can you do? I will say that this shade reminds me a little bit of the shade that I like in the Dream Street palette. Is that right? I mean, if I hold them up next to each other, they're probably not that similar, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. I'm gonna take a little bit of the black, just a little bit, just to kind of deepen up the outer corner a little bit there. And a little bit into the crease, I guess. kind of add a little bit more dimension. Let's go ahead with a little bit of glitter glue before we go into the shimmers. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Kia. It is beautiful. See, every time I go in with Juvia's Play shimmers, they get me. They definitely get me. But I think I'm only gonna take it part of the way and then put something else on the inner part just to like brighten it up or something or just add something different. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So I think I might end up ruining this look, but I just really wanna use this. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I never use that shade. Like, I don't know if it's just intimidating to me. I don't really know what it is, but I really wanna use that shade. So I'm gonna try and put that on the inner part. Hopefully it doesn't totally ruin this look, but we're gonna see. All right. Doesn't pick up as much, but I think we're good now. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks pretty. I'm gonna kind of blend it into the blue there. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of clean up the crease a little bit. <clears throat> and see this is the thing like I think it looks pretty and I think like once it comes together it'll be even better but I'm not like in love with it I don't know maybe that's my own lack of skill uh, you know lack of creativity I don't really know but I don't know I feel like I'm never like absolutely in love with the looks that I create with this palette. And that's not how I wanna feel, you know? <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of black eyeliner to define the lash line, and then we're gonna move on to the foundation. So the foundation that I am not sure if I wanna keep is the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. And I've talked about this in other videos about how this is a product that people just love and it does not work for me. It breaks up on me horribly. Now, I will say the shade is not good. The shade range is so weird. This is LW2 and it just is like a terrible match for me. It's definitely not as warm as it claims to be. Not that I'm warm, but I'm sort of neutral so I can go either way. It's definitely not warm though and I don't, I mean, L would make you believe that it's light. I'm on the lighter side. I mean, I'm you know, I'm not super fair, but I'm not, you know, medium by any means. And this is just like really light on me. Um, so that's certainly part of it, but just the formula, it just breaks up on me so badly. And I have mixed it with something before to try and make it work and I, that didn't work either. But I haven't yet tried it with my absolute go-to, one of my favorite, favorite foundations. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. And this is a much more like comfort matte, which I like because it's matte, but it's not like too matte. But this is probably my most long wearing foundation. If I really want my makeup to last and I want it to look good, this is the one that I go for. So I felt like if this is gonna have any shot, it would be mixing it with this one. And I haven't done that yet. So I know that I can't make this work on its own. It's just not gonna happen. So if I can make it work mixing it, 
then maybe I can use this from time to time. So we'll see. I mean, we're just gonna try it out. Maybe I'll try to mix it in on this palette. Just, it makes it kind of annoying. Okay, I'm gonna kind of try and do that. I don't know if that's gonna be like enough, but <laughs> we're gonna try and hopefully the mixed shade will be okay. Also, it has this fragrance to it. I don't like it at all. I really don't. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's still gonna be light, but I think it'll be better. I'm just gonna put it all over. <laughs> God, I can really smell that. And I think the reason why I didn't mix it with the, um, with the Too Faced one before was because the Too Faced one smells like peach. And so mixing the two just didn't seem like a good scent combination. But as far as the actual like formulas, I think that will be better. So, and with this one, I'm going to have to see like with how it wears because I, I didn't mind the Physicians Formula Foundation. Like when I put it on, it was more just that it broke up horribly on me. I think the shade is okay. I, um... You know, we'll just have to see with the with the wear. So, you know, check down below to see my thoughts after I've worn it for a little bit. Um, and then for concealer, and by the way, I didn't use any primer because I didn't want to add too many variables to mess with it. Um, so for concealer, the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer, people love this one, another one that people just seem to love. And I, I, I don't know, for me, it's like hit or miss. Like, some days I wear it and it looks good. And then other days it's like horrible when, I, and it's usually like right when I apply it, but again, we'll just, we'll still see, you know. Um, I, the shade is also not great. I'm so bad at picking out shades at the drugstore. Like that's one of the biggest reasons why I just struggle so much at the drugstore. I will say that lately it seems like, because there were like a bunch of foundations from the drugstore that I just love and could count on. But when it came to the shades, that was my issue and but, but lately, it's like, I don't know. I can't find anything great at the drugstore when it comes to foundations. I don't know. Give me your suggestions down below. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm so bad at picking out shades. This is the in the shade Light Natural, which it definitely is not. It's way too light for me. Either way, we're just going to see how it actually, like, looks when I apply it. So, you know, I'll bronze up my skin. We'll make it work. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit. Not, not too, too much. But I just, I don't pull for this anymore because I just didn't like it. And I didn't know if it was going to look, look how bright that is. <laughs> like, that's not light, you know? That's fair. I'm sorry. Like, it's okay. I think right now it's looking okay. But again, it's not like I'm in love with it either. But then there are some days where I apply it and it looks horrible. So I just never know what I'm going to get with this one. So it's looking okay. Um... I'm gonna use my favorite Essence Brighten Up powder so that, you know, because I know that I like this powder, but I know if it looks bad, it's not because of this powder, you know? Looking a little bright under there, brighter than I like, but. <laughs> so for the rest of my face, I have this Becca Hydra Mist powder, and I've spoken about this a bunch of times that this powder was ridiculous because, I mean, it had this cool gimmick that like it would feel wet when you put it on your face. And so like, that was nice. It still wasn't anything special, but it was like a cool effect. But after not too long of having this and way less than the expiration date, which was definitely a shorter expiration because of it being like that water-based powder, it stopped having that effect. And I've heard that from other people. That wasn't just me. So I just didn't really like this powder. And I mean, already you can see I've used quite a bit of it. I mean, there's not much in this at all. And... I mean, part of me is like, just use it up, you know, like, but I just am not pulling for it. And so that's kind of frustrating to me. So, I mean, I know I'm so close. I should just like finish it, but I also don't love this powder. So I don't know, um, but I am going to use it today because it's one that I, I keep going back and forth on whether I want to like just, you know, use it up to actually get it out of my collection and feel like, okay, I got my money's worth or just get rid of it now and just not use a product that I don't like, you know? That's the struggle sometimes. It's like, you know, I wanna use things up. I wanna get my money's worth. But at the same time, it's like, if I don't like something, like use things that I like, you know? And I still smell that Physician's Formula Foundation, by the way. I don't smell the Too Faced one, which is what I like about the Too Faced one because I feel like 
it has that scent. But first of all, it's a nice like peach scent, so I don't mind it. But it also dissipates. Like I don't smell it after I apply it. This one, this Physicians Formula one, I still smell that. And yeah, looking so pale. Okay, so let's let's bronze up a little bit. All right, so I've got this Physicians Formula little contour thing. And first of all, the packaging is just so bulky with all Physicians Formula stuff. But the thing is for, for me with this, I don't like this powder. If I sat under my eyes with this, I don't think it looks great. It doesn't keep my concealer in place like it should. I, I just don't love this cream powder. The bronzer, which I am gonna use today, from what I remember, because it's been a little while since I used it because I didn't like it, it was like really pigmented, like too pigmented, and it just was hard to work with and I didn't love it. The only one that I liked in here was this contour shade, but I feel like I have other contour shades that I like. I also have one that's in my project pan that I'm trying to use up. So I'm not using this, and that's the only powder that I actually liked. So what I wanna do today is I'll, I'll use the contour, but then I'm gonna try the bronzer and see if I like that enough. And then I'll decide if I wanna keep this or not. <laughs> that's basically what we're gonna do. So the contour shade, I know I like. It's a nice powder, it's a nice shade. I do like that. Like, I don't want to keep this palette for one shade. It's just not worth it to me. All right, time for the bronzer. Eesh, worried about this. I'm going to be, be light-handed so that I can kind of... blend it out as I'm adding it. Not terrible. I need a lot of warmth right now, oh my God. I'm feeling very pale at the moment. I also just have so many bronzers that I love that I just don't pull for this one a lot. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what we think later. For blush, I actually have two, um, but I'm only gonna use one of them. Um, so I've got this little palette from Mally, this it's a blush and a highlighter, so I'm gonna probably use the highlighter from this and, and then this other blush. Um, so I held on to this after my last like declutter, like big declutter that I did. Like it's been a while now, but nevertheless, I held on to this. But the reality is, I mean, I do like this blush. I think it's really, really pretty, but it's not that unique either. So that's that's that. And then the highlighter, yes, it's a gorgeous gold, but like. I don't use shades like that very often. It's also kind of dark for me, so I don't use it a lot. And if I'm gonna go for a gold like that, like a true gold, I have other ones that I would pull for first. So this just does not get played with. And then for the, the other blush, this is the Kat Von D Wish blush. And I held on to this because, and when I first held on to this, like after like a declutter, it was because I loved the shade and they didn't, carry this anymore and they don't carry this anymore. Uh, now I don't really support the brand. So I don't use it for those, both of those reasons because I don't support the brand and don't really wanna like show her products too much. But I also know that you can't even get this anymore. So even if you did wanna buy from the brand, you couldn't. And it's a beautiful shade. I mean, it's a, it really is a very pretty blush, but it is really pretty. It's, I don't know, but I don't feel like it's that unique. I mean, it's still very pretty, but I just don't know. So I'm gonna put this on today and just see if I love it enough to keep it despite those those reasons, basically. Um, it is a little bit powdery, I will say that, even though I do like it. It's a really pretty blush. But I feel like I have a lot of things like it, and so I need to love it enough so that even though I have things like it, and even though I don't support the brand, and even though you can't get it anymore, that I still would love it enough to use it from time to time and look at it and feel like, I still love this, even though, you know, I mean, I already bought it, so it's not like I am re-supporting the brand. Like, I already bought it a long, I mean, a long time ago now. Um, but I don't wanna look at this and be like, uh, I don't wanna use that. And that's kind of how I feel a lot of the time, so I'm just not sure. And it is, it is very powdery, which is a little annoying. Um, but it's pretty. But I just feel like maybe somebody in my life who doesn't film YouTube and doesn't like even know who Kat Von D is would maybe just enjoy this more and I don't know. All right, and this highlighter. It's a very, very pretty highlighter, but I just feel like 
it's just not a shade that I pull for a lot. And like, honestly, I'd go for the Amrezy one if I'm gonna go for a gold like this. So I don't know. It's so pretty though, you know, like that's why I held on to it because it is really gorgeous. I'm gonna go do my brows and I will be back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to uh, finishing my eyes. So I'm gonna use this Lottie London liner in black. And what I found with this is that it's so creamy and it really is nice, but it bleeds on me quite a bit or just like moves like right into that inner corner quite a bit because it's so creamy. And so I wanna give it one more shot. I've been doing this trick that I learned from Tar Babies. Um, she takes um, a Q-tip and wipes down her waterline. And I've been trying to do that both with my waterline and with my tight line, just to help the eyeliner, you know, just remove some of that initial wetness that's already there in your eyes. And it just helps, I think, to make the eyeliner go on smoother, but also to stay a little bit better. I've been finding that that has worked pretty well for me. So I wanna try that with this and just see if that helps. So I'm gonna be careful with how much I put on the top, especially, but also on the bottom. I'm not gonna bring it too close into the inner corner because I don't wanna make it worse. So, and I can feel how dry that is now. So I'm gonna take a little bit up here and I'm not gonna bring it too far in because I don't want it to bleed more than it will already. See how creamy this is? I mean, it's like, whoa. Okay, I'm not gonna bring it any more in than that because this just is so creamy, which is nice, but I've just had issues with it. So I'm gonna do the other eyes well. Now I'm gonna go back to the eyeshadow palette and I think I'm gonna just take, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of some of these like mattes on the, lower lash line but then I'm mostly going to do a shimmer so I'm just going to put a little bit mix these two mattes that I use the bright one and the lighter one just to kind of tie it together but just a little bit and then I'm going to put a shimmer down this one right here it's really really pretty and we'll just add something something different to the lower lash line and I'm going to spray it so that I don't get it everywhere okay And then really my only option, I'm gonna take the shade Iman on my inner corners. And there's nothing for the brow bone, so I'll just kind of do that separately. But just to let you know that I am going to do that. Um, it's definitely a pretty inner corner shade. It's the only option you have, but it's nice. So certainly brightening. Okay, so I'm gonna do some mascara and my brow bone and I will come back and we'll do the lips. So I don't really have any lipsticks that I dislike and same goes for liquid lipsticks because I've kind of gone through a lot of that stuff already. So it was more lip liners and lip glosses that I have ones that I don't like as much. And I've been getting much more into lip liners lately. I almost always use one now. It's just part of my routine. And there are ones that I don't love as much. So. I'm just kind of thinking I should maybe go through them a little bit. And one of them is this Kat Von D one. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, this one is in the shade OG Lolita. I actually don't love this. I mean, putting the brand aside, I I think that this is like almost too creamy, <laughs> if, if you can believe that. Like, it's almost creamier than the ColourPop ones, which are sort of like as creamy as I'll go. Like, this is just like almost too much. Um, it's nice and the shade is good. It's a little bit dark, um, but it, it's not bad. So. Um, I kind of want to see and really decide if I want to keep this one because I have other lip liners that I just love and I feel like I have a lot of lip liners and unless it's like a specific shade that I feel like, well, but if I'm wearing like that color, I want to have that lip liner. If it's just like more of like a kind of nude shade, there are ones that I would pull for first. And so I don't know. I just, I'm going to give this one a try. I'm going to put it all over my lips. I'm just going to fill in my lips. I'm going to line them and fill them in. And then I have a gloss and with a lot of my glosses, I feel like so-so about them. I have some glosses that I absolutely love. That would be the ones that I would pull for first. And then I have other ones that I'm like, it's just okay. It's not my favorite, but I don't want to get rid of it really. Um, so there were not many that I could think of, but one is the Sephora one that is a, what do they call these? Uh, a outrageous Effect Volume Plump Effect. And I should have known better because I just don't love like minty kind of lip glosses. Like I'm not into the buxom ones and whatever. So I don't know why I got this. I'd heard good things about it. I mean, that's why, but like I should have known myself better, you know? So it's just okay. I don't, 
think that it does anything that great and I don't necessarily love the feeling. So I just want to give it one more shot and see what I think because I just, eh. So I'm going to do this and um, I might have to do this up close in my mirror because I've been sort of overlining my lips lately and I like the way that that looks. Um, and so I kind of feel like I have to, I have to do that up close in the mirror. Uh, so I'll do the lip liner. Um, I'll do like the line first and then I'll come back and I'll fill it in with you and we'll do the gloss. I mean, the color is really pretty. It is pretty dark, um, but it is a really pretty color, but it's so creamy that it's really hard to get a crisp line because I'm trying to go really slowly to overline and everything. And like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, it almost, I can't get a crisp line with it. It's just, I don't know, it's hard, but I'm gonna fill in all the way, which it's nice with a lip liner that is as soft because it makes it easier to fill it in. And I want to say that these were not like a great value if, if like if my memory serves me. Um, but I just feel like they're almost too creamy. I don't know. Maybe maybe I've just become really picky with lip liners. But okay, so that's that. And let's go in with the lip gloss. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna like really work on top, but we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. So I mean, it's basically clear. So hopefully, yeah, it's basically clear. I mean, it certainly looks pretty. You know, it like gives a really glassy effect. I just don't love the scent and I, it's not like a super plumping like gloss, but like it looks really pretty and like glass-like. I like that look, but I feel like I have other glosses that do that too. So like would I really pull for this one? I don't know. That is really pretty though. I do think that that lip looks pretty. I don't know. We'll see. Sorry, I'm not looking at you. I'm just kind of looking to see what this looks like, but. All right, so this is the look. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below if there's a certain product that I use that you're like, no, you should really keep that. It looks really good on you or the opposite. Let me know if you if I use something and you're like, yeah, that just doesn't work for you. Just pass it on. Um, let me know your thoughts about all of these products. I mean, we all have different skin types, we all have different preferences, opinions, all of that, it's all okay. By the way, I am feeling the tingling a little bit. It's not bad, but I'm feeling it. So like I said, check the pinned comment down below because I will make sure and let you know how I feel about these things once I've worn them over the course of the rest of the day because I feel like I need to think about some of these things. Obviously I need to see how the foundation wears, the, you know, all of the base makeup stuff. I need to see how it wears. And I just need to think about it more. I need to look at it a little bit up close in a mirror from far away. Um, you know, again, with the eyeshadow, it's like, I don't dislike the look. I think it's pretty, but I'm just never like in love with it either. So I just don't know. I did, and I just don't know if that I, I don't know if I can part with a Juvie Spice palette. Like, I just don't know if I can do it. I feel like I might regret it, you know? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this style of video. Again, let me know if this is something you'd like to see again because I definitely have other products that I've thought about decluttering and I feel like I could give them another chance before I actually decide to declutter them and that would actually help me make that educated decision you know, whether or not I should get rid of them. If you like this video, please make sure and give it a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel so much. I post videos every single Monday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to stick around and I really hope to see you next time. Bye.